Ugawanda, New York, on the campus of Gowanda Central School, where CSP faces the Gowanda Panthers here in a Section 6 Class C semifinal game. And we're going to get started a little bit early here. So CSP is going to be the away team and get the first at bat. And CSP is going to see number 19, Alex Pachinski for Gowanda. He's their ace. And a traditional batting order here for CSP as Austin White's been the leadoff man for most if not all the year and uh, he's ahead in the count two balls and no strikes and that ball is low so 3-0 and oh to the leadoff batter for the Wolfpack I'm Kyle Hinsdale joined today by Pat Katniss and we're excited to bring you playoff baseball here on channel 98.9 and Facebook live and there's a first pitch or first strike that Austin's seen this, young, this pitcher's got a good motion. You can pick up the ball quick because he flops that hand out there and you can see it. And there's a strike on the outside part of the plate. So full count here to the first batter. Hopefully we got a good camera angle for everybody today right behind home plate. And there's a ground ball to second base and that's gonna be out number one. So. Pachinski gets down early, two balls and no strikes, and fights his way back and gets a ground ball to second. And that's going to bring lefty Bryce Hinsdale, the number two batter, to the plate. So we're going to see a lot of lefty on lefty matchups today, Pat. That's a good thing. It's, uh, our boys can handle that. I mean, we go three in a row, though, when Caden Beckham gets up, and then we go Austin and yeah, Bryce. Yeah. So. Nine, one, and two are all lefties for us. So Bryce down early, no balls in one strike. And there's a slow That's roller, a it's gonna be tough play. And Bryce is gonna be safe at first base. So infield single wasn't pretty, but doesn't matter. This time of the year, it doesn't matter how you get on as long as you get on. And that's CSP's first base runner of the game. And that's going to bring Gabe Roth to the plate. So infield single for Bryce Hinsdale. And there's now one out here in the top of the first. And that's going to bring senior Gabe Roth to the plate. <laughs> and there's a fly ball to right Could field. Could be trouble. Could be. Maybe not. Right fielder's underneath it. And so Gabe sees one pitch. And that's out number two of the inning. And that's going to bring Trent Burchanowski to the plate. Trent's been hitting the ball hard recently. He's, uh, he's been placing it well and hitting it hard. So Today's catcher for Gowanda is Blake Herman. And he's just a sophomore, but very good catcher. And that is strike one to Trent. So I do not suspect that CSP is going to do a lot of testing of his arm today, Pat. No, I just watched him throw down in warm-ups. So he, he's got a quick throw, quick release. That ball gets down there in a hurry. And that's going to be fair. That's a fair ball. And there's a long throw to third, and he's going to be safe. That ball hit the bag and popped in the air. So base hit for Trent Burchanowski, and that's going to bring sophomore Today's starting pitcher to the plate, Tate Katniss, with runners on first and second here in the top of the first with two outs. So CSP's got a little something cook cooking with two outs here. Let's see if Tate can deliver a big base hit that will more than likely score one. Ball low, first pitch. This now marks two out of the last three games that CSP's played on turf. So good, uh, good that we. And ah. there's a slow roller back to the pitcher, and he's going to come up throwing, and that's going to be out number three. So CSP threatens a little. They leave two on after the top half of the first. And after half inning, no score, 0-0. We'll be right back after these messages. 
Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. In baseball, these are the moments that bring us to our feet. But the most important moment happens when we all stand together. United for a great cause. So join Major League Baseball and stand up to cancer. As we stand in honor of all loved ones affected by this disease. I'm Jordana Brewster. I'm Candace Patton. Joe Manganiello. I'm Matt Damon. And cancer has in some way touched all of us. Visit standuptocancer.org slash MLB. Stand up with us. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Dream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Welcome back to Playoff Baseball here on Channel 98.9. During the playoffs, we are required to read the following message. The right to this broadcast have been granted by Section 6, representing more than 90 senior high schools who participate annually in Section 6-sponsored athletic competition. Any rebroadcast or republication of the programming without written consent of Section 6 is strictly prohibited. Now that the business part of that's out of the way... CSP is going to start here in the bottom of the first. And uh, as we mentioned earlier, Tate Catney, sophomore from Panama, is going to get the ball to start the game. I would suspect that you'll see a number of pitchers today uh, for the Wolfpack. Uh, even if Tate does well, I think uh, it's one thing that uh, CSP did on Tuesday against Holland. They kept them off balance with a number of different uh number of different pitchers different arms different angles and everything like that yeah that worked out well for them so that, that game was you know zero zero going into the fifth <laughs> it's like oh, yeah come on. i was watching from chicago and oh. it's probably best that nobody was uh around me when i was watching <laughs> it was a good game that was it a was. great game it great was. baseball game so that's going to bring to the plate uh go on probably go on this hottest hitter pat blake herman uh, he's catching today, just a sophomore, but he's a good leadoff hitter for them. And Tate is down two balls and no strikes early. Herman's batting 364 on the season with two home runs. And there's a ball high, so three balls and no strikes to the first batter for the Panthers. There's a strike. And there's first strike, so three balls and one strike. Pat uh, Tate just being a sophomore, there might be some early game jitters here, the first couple of batters. I yeah. expect he'll settle in pretty nicely, though. And there's a hard foul down third base line, so full count here to Herman. Oh, like we, like I told you earlier, Kyle, I talked to Tate last night when he told me he was starting pitcher, and I said, they're going to hit the ball. This team yep. hits the ball, so just let the seven guys behind you take care of business. Yeah, you get it over the plate. We've commented about it all year. CSP plays very good defense behind their pitchers, very few errors, and uh, we would expect to see that same thing today, and I agree. They're going to hit the ball. This, rather that than walk, uh, walks, and he's going to lead the – Lead off the game with a walk, as we uh, just mentioned that. So Herman reaches base, and that's going to bring the starting pitcher, Alex, Alex Pachinski, 
to the plate. Lefty here. We'll see how aggressive Gowanda wants to be early on. And there's a the ball just on the inside part of the plate. That so. young man is hugging the plate too, so yep. I think Tate wanted to give him a little message there maybe. Yep. One ball, no strikes to Pachinski. Herman with a medium-sized lead at first. And there's a ball low and outside, ooh, ooh, so. Ooh. Tight zone it looks like right now. Yep, two balls and no strikes. Andas on deck for the Panthers. And three balls and no strikes. So Tate early here having a little trouble finding the strike zone. He is really on that plate, Pat. Yes, he is. He's about as close as you're allowed to get. And there he thought that was a walk. Yep. Umpire thought differently. Yep. I'm wondering if high school when them kids take off like that, if that ump just doesn't call it a strike to prove <laughs> a point. Well, you know, in the majors, uh, they typically don't like uh, they don't like when they do that. So Tate throws over to first. Check on Herman. You know, through two batters, Pat. You can tell this is a pretty confident Gowanda team, just the way they carry themselves. And there's a base hit to the left field. And Coming that's three. gonna go to three. Herman's gonna try to go to three and he's gonna slide in safe. So Pachinski takes it to the opposite field. And Gowanda here in the top of the bottom of the first with no outs have got runners at first and third. So CSP is gonna wanna try to minimize the damage here. And as I mentioned, that's gonna bring John Andus to the plate, number three hitter, playing center field. And that ball is high, so ball one to the batter. If, if uh, CSP Pack could somehow try to turn a double play, I think we'd give up the run. Yes, I agree and, with that. That's and out of play. Ball's out of play. They don't go. Over, they don't go out of here. There's a net above us. Oh, yep. There's a net above us. That's pretty nice. Yeah. It's a good thing because behind us is all woods, Pat. Yeah. I feel I like guess. we're in Panama again. I know Colin Sturgis is good at hunting those things down, but. Not in a foreign land. <laughs> one ball, one strike here, and there goes. Whoa, okay. Throw a little play at second base. Uh, Grant with the second baseman. So stolen base for Pachinski, but Tate up early, one ball and two strikes here to Ondas. Gawanda now with runners, two runners in scoring position. And there's foul a ball. curve ball foul down the left field line. So he's on that curve ball pretty good, Pat. So let's see if we can change him up here. So one ball, two strikes. There's a ball inside, good pitch there by Tate. Try to get him high and tight, and he just got bad on the ball there. So he stays alive and keeps the count, one ball and two strikes. Want to continue to keep this ball out of the strike zone pad until at least two balls. Yeah, yeah. Make him, make him fish for it. Good pitch there, that was a good pitch there just on the outside part of the plate. So two balls and two strikes. That yeah. ball's low, and it's going to get by Grant, and here comes Herman. And that's going to get one on the board for Gowanda, and that's going to make it one nothing here in the bottom of the first. And now that's going to be a full count here on the batter, Andes. Pachinski made his way to, from second to third, so... Gawanda's got a runner at third base. Still no outs. 
And there's a base on ball to Andis. That's going to bring number five, I'm sorry, number 15, Tyler Smith, to the plate. Batting the in mound. that clean off spot, uh, cleanup spot. Uh, Smith, a Cortland commit in the fall. And Coach Moreno wants to talk, uh, settle everybody down just a hair, Pat. Yeah, I think that they're, you know, uh, uh, Gwanda's hitting the ball and takes a little off, but I think he'll gather it in here. Yep. So I'm not too worried about things, and we'll start hitting the ball. Yep. There's no doubt about that. We, we very seldom go games where we don't start stroking the ball sometime. So, and this team's, they're, you know, they're just, good. But yeah, they, you know, we just need to get an out. Let's right. see if we can get an out, get everybody settled down a little bit. And so Smith steps in, runners at first and third, and there's a foul. Now that one went over the That one's netting. gonna be in the crick, I think. Yep. So reset here with CSP down one nothing here in the bottom of the first. No outs with runners at first and third and the cleanup hitter for Gowanda at the plate. And there's a strike. And okay. so no balls and two strikes. Uh, Andes, who was at first base, did get the steal there, Pat. So Grant did the right thing there. He kind of faked the throw and looked to third. Yep. Tate uh, up early here. Got him. And got him on the outside part of the plate. So that is strikeout number one and out number one of the inning. Much needed strikeout there, Pat. And yep. that's going to bring Cole Herman. That first out, we broke the ice now. So now things can look up again. Cole, Her Cole Herman was the winning pitcher on Tuesday night as Gowanda shut out. Chautauqua Lake by a score of 10 to nothing. CSP got here by a four to nothing win over Holland on Tuesday night. Where CSP saw Gabe, Austin, and Tate all throw innings in that game. So that first pitch was a ball, so, and that one was right over to the coaches there. Yeah. Foul yeah. ball. Good thing they got that fence in front of them. Yep. So one ball and one strike to the senior Herman, the uh, Blake Herman, who led off the innings for Gowanda and scored just a sophomore. Yeah, good pitch there by Tate. Oh, that was a nice pitch. Two balls and one strike to the batter. If you're CSP on the infield in particular, you got to be thinking about what the ball's hit to me, what am I going to do with it with runners at second and third? And there's ball three. So three balls and one strike here on the number five hitter, Capozzi for. Well, this is still Herman, isn't it? Or Herman got up. Yeah, this is Herman. This yep. is Herman, yeah. Capozzi on deck. <sighs> ball. And okay. there's ball four, so. Okay. That's going to load the bases here in the bottom of the first for Gowanda. Which is with, not, this isn't terrible because now the play's at home. Yep. You know, force out at home. Yep, or turn two. Yeah, infield, the, oh, the corners are up. Okay, I like this. Corners up, middle, middle infield. So this back. is going to bring Carter Capozzi to the plate, and there's a curveball just Boy, on the inside part of the plate. Standing where we are, Kyle, Looks I don't know good. how that thing's missing the plate. So one ball and no strikes. Tate's got to th make him a hitter because he's got no place to put him here. And there's a strike on the outside part of the plate. So one ball, one strike. Infield pop-up or Ground ball to first or third would be ideal here. And there's your infield pop up. There's the infield pop up. So infield pop up and caught by Trent Burchanowski at second, and that's going to be out number two of the inning. And that's going to bring Logan Ruff to the plate. 
sophomore. Playing second base today. This would be really good for the CSP team if they could get out yes, of this it would. with one uh, run. Yes, it would. Oh, great. And good, good block. Good block good there. Block. That curveball didn't get quite where we wanted no. it to, and that was a awkward. Uh, that was an awkward block there, or awkward ball in the in yes. the dirt. Difficult play for Grant, and he made it. So that saves us a run more than likely. So one ball, no strikes here to the batter. And that ball's outside. So two balls and no strikes. And again, Tate's got no place to put them. So want to make him a hitter here. This one might need to be right down Main Street. Yep. Hopefully get it by him. Yep. There you go. He's and a little off that outside yep. corner, uh, outside part of the rubber. Just a bit out there. Friday night in Salamanca, Pat, that was a strike all night long. Yes. But two not or th today. Uh, three or four inches off the outside part of the plate, but not today. Ah, he walked him. And there's a ball in the dirt, so ball four. So that is going to make it two to nothing, Gowanda. And... Senior Gabe Roth wants to have a little conversation to settle his sophomore down. Good play by Gabe. And that's going to bring the DH today, Madden Lay, to the plate. Number eight hitter for... Gowanda, bases are loaded with two outs. And there's a fall ball foul down the third base line. Oh, I've noticed... See, Kyle, up, that see up on it tight Yes, too. the left-handers really are tight on the. And I when am. we're talking tight, folks, we are talking, and you probably can see it on the on the screen, but it is foot on the white inside part of the uh, batter's box. Batter's box. And Shoot. there's a hit by pitch, and so that is going to score another run. So 3-0 here in the bottom of the first and coach Moreno wants to have a discussion with Tate and as we take a as CSP takes a break we'll take a break as well we'll be right back after these messages funding for this channel 989 sports stream broadcast comes from Lictus oil and propane and climber family owned Lictus oil and propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture industry and homeowners heating oil and propane services and off and on diesel fuel services are also offered the channel 989 sports stream thanks Lictus oil and propane for their continued support this Wolfpack broadcast is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Restaurant and Bakery at 104 East Main Street in Sherman. The Cornerstone offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and baked goods. The phone number is 716-234-4002, or find them on Facebook. The Channel 90. Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided in part by White Lion Surveying in Climber. Providing land surveys for clients in Chautauqua and Cattaraugus Counties in New York and Erie, Warren, and Crawford Counties in Pennsylvania. Call 716-499-8410 or visit online at mwhitepls.com. Welcome back to Gowanda, New York on the campus of Gowanda Central School where CSP is battling the Gowanda Panthers in a Section 6 Class C semifinal game. And CSP here finds themselves down early in the bottom of the first by a score of three to nothing and we're having uh we went to break as coach moreno was walking out to uh talk to tate catney's our starting pitcher and we are going to see a pitching change for the wolf pack and that's going to bring senior austin white uh into um face what is now the number nine hitter for 
Gawanda, and he's going to have bases loaded here in the bottom of the first with two outs. And this is going to be Braden Smith. And if you're CSP, you're looking for a, some sort of ball on the ground to a CSP infielder or a pop-up. Pop Get out of this inning with the bases loaded. And that ball is going to hit the front of the plate and pop up over the catcher. And that is going to be pass ball for run number four. So CSP immediately down here early. They need a little pep in their step. Yeah, they do. They'll get it. Yep. They'll get it. So luckily it's early in the game. We've got six more innings to get some runs here. So runners at second and third now. Everybody advanced with two outs. And there's a ball or strike on the outside part of the plate for strike one. So one ball and one strike to the number number nine hitter. Number nine hitter Smith, Braden Smith. And there's a foul tip strike two. So one ball and two strikes. As you can t tell on uh, the uh, Facebook Live, beautiful facility here in Gowanda. All AstroTurf, nicely fenced. And that's going to be a foul. It's coming right back at us. So yeah, that's the only hindrance of that fence, that, that netting being above the everybody, the catcher and the umpire got to be aware when the yep. foul balls go up. And umpire ducked. Missed on the outside part of the plate. So two balls and two strikes. Herman, the leadoff batter on deck for the Panthers. And that ball is on the inside. You know, there's a part of me, Pat, that thinks that maybe the CSP pitchers are just trying to be too perfect. Yeah, they're not just and throwing the ball, maybe. Just throw it and allow them to hit the ball, to your point earlier. And that ball is on the low and inside. So after being up one ball and two strikes, Austin loses him. And that's going to load the bases and bring hot hitting Blake Herman to the plate. He reached uh, base on ball back in the first and scored Gowanda's first run. So they bat around here in the first inning. And there's pitch in for a strike, so no balls and one strike. Bases loaded. Looking for a ground ball somewhere here. Good job by Grant, Grant blocking that one. Counts one and one. CSP defense not holding the runners on, so they got pretty good leads, and that ball's on the inside part of the plate. Two balls and one strike. No place to put him, so. No, we got to get this out here. And that makes it three balls and one strike, so. Herman with a hitter's count here. And there's a pop foul. That ball was out of the strike zone too, Pat. And Yeah, I don't think he wants to walk. No, no, I don't think so. The ball was low, but he tried to go get it and he followed it off the first base line. So full count here to Herman with the bases loaded. So everybody's gonna be running here on the pitch. There's the, oh. man, that ball was close. Ooh, it was real close. Real close. But high and outside, and that's going to be run number five for Gowanda. Bases remain loaded. And that's going to bring today's starting pitcher, Alex Paczynski, to the plate. And 
And there's a base hit right back up the middle. That's going to score at least one. Here comes the throw home. And that's going to score two. So quickly, it's now 7 nothing Gawanda in the bottom of the first. So Pachinski helping himself out. And that's going to bring Andes, John Andes to the plate with runners at first and second, still with two outs, Pat. Been a long inning, Kyle. It's been a long inning. Yes, it has. And we've had a fair number of. Austin stepped off because he was in the windup, and that would have allowed the runners to take off, so. And there's the pop-up we were looking for. And, Trent and, can't find it. And Trent lost Ooh. it in the sun and found it again. So that was a little bit of an adventure, but Gowanda leaves the bases. across the board and it is seven nothing Gowanda after one we'll be right back after these messages Hi, I'm I was just checking out who you guys were with oh okay Corey out of where? Corey, Pennsylvania. Okay. funding for this channel 989 sports stream broadcast comes from Lictus oil and propane and climber Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. Support for Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Sherman Country General Store at 177 West Main Street in Sherman. Gasoline, groceries, and more. Phone 716-761-6181. Go Wolfpack from Sherman Country General Store. Welcome back to beautiful Gowanda, New York, where CSP's got an uphill climb as we enter the top of the second inning, giving up seven runs back in the bottom of the first. And Pat and I were looking at it during the break, uh, just giving up two hits uh, in that inning, but seven runs across the plate. And uh, so CSP's got to fight their way back here. Uh, Thank you for watching and listening to CSP Wolfpack Baseball here on channel 98.9. And that first pitch to senior Dylan Michael is low and inside for ball one. We are going to see six, seven, and eight hitters, I believe. Yep, Dylan, Blake, and Grant, yeah. And then we're gonna see Becker, we're gonna see White, we're gonna see Hinsdale. <laughs> we're gonna see them all, right? Yep. So one ball, one strike after the foul ball. And there's a well hit ball to right field. Right fielder going back and that's gonna go, that's gonna get to the fence. And Dylan's rounding second and he's gonna be stand up triple to lead off the inning. So CSP got a much needed shot in the arm here by senior Dylan Michael. That ball, Pat, was well hit to well right hit field. Well hit, and that, and, uh, didn't know it was going to go over his head, and it went to the base of the fence. Yep. So CSP gets their leadoff hitter at third, and that's going to bring Blake Copta to the plate. Got to get the uh, base umpires in position. They don't typically work three-man, so... And there's a foul back right at us. Blake's been swinging, swinging a hot bat recently, so yep. that's a good thing. And so is Grant. So 
We're not we're not bad going being down here at the bottom of the order. Great. No balls and one strike here. Yeah, that ball's foul and deep into foul. The, deep into the woods. So hopefully Gawanda's coach has got a stockpile of baseballs <laughs> back there. I think they're kind of like when you play at Panama, you know you're going to lose a handful <laughs> of them. No balls and two strikes to Copta. Leadoff runner at third base. And right there's the a little dribbler back up the middle, and Blake's going to beat it out, and that's going to score a run. So CSP gets one across the board, their first one of the game to make it 7-1. to one. And that ball was not hit hard, Pat, but it had a little spin on and it. And it was in the trouble spot there. Yep. I see the second baseman shrugged off the shortstop. If that shortstop was coming hard, he probably should have let him make it with the momentum. But yep. I'm glad that he didn't. So good bunt by Grant Lictus. Well done, and he's going to be in safe. Ball slipped out of the hands of the catcher, Herman. And CSP... Now has first and second with no outs. And Coach Smith wants to have a brief chat, maybe to settle his group down, just like Coach Moreno tried to settle down the Wolfpack back in the first. And what you're seeing here, Pat, is CSP simply putting the ball in play, mm -hmm. yep. uh, making, making Gawanda. And it doesn't matter. I don't care if you're playing the number four, one seed or the number eight seed or the number seven seed, whatever you're playing. At the end of the day, in the high school level, you want to put ball in play. You got to right? make them make the play. You want to make no them make the it. play. And you talked about it earlier with the, your conversation with Tate last night at home that, hey, listen, they're going to hit the ball. Let them hit it. And your defense is good enough. Let's make some plays. Right. And um, so CSP here uh, with no outs in the top of the second, and they've got runners at first and second. Uh, one run already across the board after Dylan Michael let off the inning with a stand-up triple. And that's going to bring Caden Beckerink to the plate. So with Grant uh, batting in that eight spot, uh, Pat, we go four straight batters. Left Lefty, get out of play, and it, it does. And that ball is going to be out of play, so... No balls and one strike. You know, and that that hit uh, by um, by Blake two batters ago, Pat was with uh, no balls and two strikes. So that's he right. Was that's right. Down, down. Oh, uh, like count. I told Dennis the other night, he is a patient, and patient. There's hitter. a slow roller to first, and they're gonna try. They're gonna get the. They're gonna get Grant at second. So fielder's choice for Caden Beckerink, and that's gonna be out number one of the inning. So Austin White, who came in in relief back in the first inning, can help himself out here with runners at first and third. I would expect Caden Beckerink, who has got a lot of wheels, to be moving early in this count. Yeah, because Herman does throw it down very well, but is he going to throw it? Because Blake's going to score if he does. That ball is in the dirt. Good block by Herman to keep the runners at first and third. Blake's got the, he's got that, that, that crazy speed that no one can tell. He right. really does, yeah. he moves very well. That ball's outside, so two balls and no strikes to the leadoff hitter for the Wolfpack. And if you're Austin, you're looking for a hole here to get Blake across the plate. And that ball's very outside. Good. So, so far, umpire behind the plate's relatively consistent, Pat. We weren't getting the outside part of the no, plate. and they're and not either. They're not either. So, three balls and no strikes. And that's going to bring Bryce Hinsdale, who is, if there's anybody that's due on this team, it's Bryce. <laughs> my word. <laughs> well, you know what, Kyle? I mean, that we let them get seven in the first inning, and our boys have not given up. They're, they're no, clawing back. That's so, right. And you know, making it 7 1 now, and we got a potential of getting a couple more here. And, and give credit to Dylan Michael, Pat. He's the one that started this yes, whole thing absolutely. off with that triple back uh, to start this inning. So 
Bryce Hinsdale to the plate. He reached on an infield single back in the first. And that ball is inside. So one ball and no strikes. It was low and inside. Herman did not like that no, call. No, I think Pat. him and Grant have the same feeling that uh, these, some of these should be strikes. That ball is on the outside part of the plate and for strikes. So one ball and one strike to the number two hitter for the Wolfpack, Hinsdale. CSP with one out here in the uh, top of the second. Base is loaded. And there is a pitch on the outside part of the plate. Bryce refuses to take that outside pitch to left field, which is what you really want to do. And now he's down one ball and two strikes. One out here. Needs to put the ball in play somewhere. And he looks at that one for strike three. So two outs here in the top of the second. And that ball could be a beach ball right now, and Bryce Sinsdale could not hit it. <laughs> All right, Gabe. So Gabe Roth comes to the plate. It was inside. And that ball is inside. Brush, One ball and no strikes. Brush Gabe back a little bit. 7-1 here. We could use a big base hit here by Gabe for sure. And that ball is inside for 2-0. Who's on second? Caden Beckner's on second. Yep, so we got lots of, speed, on first lots of speed Blake on the bases. Pachinski's got no place to put them with bases loaded. And there's a big swing and a miss for Gabe for strike one. It was a nice strike, though. It yep. was a nice strike. It was a good ball to hit. Two outs here in the top of the first. Bases loaded. And that ball is low, so three balls and one strike. So Pachinski's got to come to uh, come to him here, Pat. It's a hitter's count for sure. And if it's in Gabe's zone, you know he's going after it, <laughs> which I'm okay with. And that ball was on the outside Ooh. part of the plate. That's one that we would like called for us. Yes, yep. That's probably the first one that I've seen, Pat, that – Probably it was, was. It was on the white line of the batter's box. Yeah. All right, full count here with two outs. Runners are going to be taken off on the pitch. Here's the payoff pitch. And Good that shot. ball foul down the right field line. Tried coming on the coming inside on him. And Gabe turned on it nicely. Turned a little too much, in fact. Yeah. So full count here, bases loaded with two outs. CSP in a good situation here to try to get some runs. And here's nobody there. And nobody's there. Seems like an odd time to do that, Pat. But. And that shortstop and second baseman had no intention to be in no. there. So here's the payoff pitch. And there's a base hit to right field, left field, and that's going to drop. That's going to score Blake Copta, and that's going to score Caden Beckerink. So a two-out, two-RBI single for Gabe Roth, and CSP claws their way back into this thing with a score of 7-3 to three now with two outs and still runners at first and second. Good job by Gabe. That, Gabe, that was a good at bat there, Absolutely. Pat. He waited and waited and even didn't say too much when that outside pitch was called a strike. And that's going to bring hot hitting Trent Burchanowski to the plate. And that's going to be on the outside part of the plate for ball one. Still lots of speed on the bases, Pat. So a base hit to the outfield more than likely is scoring one here. And that ball is low outside. and outside, a little outside for strike one. So one ball and one strike. And there's a that's gapper. A gap. That's a gap. That's getting to the fence, Pat. And that's going to score Austin White. Going to score and Gabe. And that's going to score Gabe Roth. And Trent's going to slide in 
for a two out, two RBI triple. And CSP, just like that, gets themselves back into this game with a score of seven to five. And that's gonna bring Tate Catneys to the plate. So CSP, after giving up seven runs in the bottom of the first inning, they've got a little something going here in the second. They got themselves right back in this ball game, Pat. Yes, they do, and it's nice to see that they, like I said, they didn't hang their heads and worry about anything. They just went after it. And that first pitch is a foul by Tate. And that was a great hit by Trent Burchanowski. It was a gapper right between center and right and made it all, all the way to the fence. And Trent's got plenty of speed. And there's a ball high and inside for strike two. So I think if you're a fan of CSP, you got to be taking note of where these strikes are at and uh, expect to see those when we got guys on the mound. And there's ah, a ball right, right back, back to, to the pitcher. And Tate's hustling, and that's going to be out number three. Okay. But So CSP strands one, but not until they get five across the plate. And after giving up seven in the bottom of the first, CSP responds well with five in the top of the second. And after one and a half, it is seven to five. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Stream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for Wolfpack Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream is provided by Countertop Solutions and Climber. Go Wolfpack from Countertop Solutions. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided in part by White Lion Surveying and Climber. Providing land surveys for clients in Chautauqua and Cattaraugus Counties in New York and Erie, Warren, and Crawford Counties in Pennsylvania. Call 716 499 8410 or visit online at mwhitepls.com. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at climberhardwareandhomecenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. Welcome back to playoff baseball as CSP battles the Gowanda Panthers in a Section 6 Class C semifinal. The winner today will play at noon at Dietrich Park on Saturday against the winner of the Frewsburg-Portville game. Portville travels to Frewsburg tonight for a 5 o'clock start. That'll be another good game, And that Kyle. should be a good game yeah. as well. That's too good. I mean, the, the top four in this this yeah, bracket are all of, very good. They've kind yeah. of the top four have been kind of the top four Correct. all year long. Yep. So, all right. So as we enter the bottom half of the second inning, CSP trails by a score of seven to five, putting up five runs in the top half of this inning. And uh, Austin White, who came in in relief back in the first, is going to get the start of the second inning, and he's going to face, I think. Uh, Smith. So four, five, and six yep. batters for the Panthers. And this is Tyler Smith at the plate, and that ball's low and outside. So two balls and no strikes to the Cortland bound go on to player. And there's ball three, so three balls and no strikes. So it's important for the CSP pitchers to find the strike zone here, Pat. We talked about it. Only giving up two hits in the first inning, but allowing seven runs yeah. to cross the plate. And there's a pitch down the middle for strike one. So Austin's not missing on that outside by much, but it's, it's enough. It's enough. Three balls and one strike. And there's there. strike two. Oh. 
And uh, that's twice, Pat, yeah. that uh, the Wanda batters have tried to get the, tried to get the first base on a walk. There. And that ball is on the inside part of the plate. And they're saying that ball hit him. So hit by pitch to Smith. And that's going to bring Cole Herman to the plate. All right, double play ball here, Kyle, would be nice. Yep. This is the senior of the Herman boys. So no outs here in the top of the second, or bottom of the second. They get their leadoff runner on with a walk. Pretty good sized lead at first. And there's a double play ball. There's turning Flip. it to Gabe. Good scoop by Bryce. Wow, good play. So good play by Trent Burchanowski to start that, Pat. And good turn at second base by Gabe Roth. And really nice scoop by Bryce Hinsdale yep. at first base. And just like that, CSP with two outs here in the bottom of the second. That's just what the doctor ordered right there, Pat. <laughs> Five, six, three. That's a nice thing right there. That ball was hit directly to Trent. Yeah. And there's a strike on the outside part of the plate for strike one. I tell you, I don't, these uh, Gowanda pitchers don't think that they don't ever not swing at a strike. I can tell you that. Every, there's a curve ball high. Every time they don't look at a ball that's called a strike, they have some sort of reaction they, to it, Pat. They like to hit the ball, that's yep. for sure. They are up there swinging. So no balls and two strikes here to Capozzi. And that ball, good waste good by waste. Austin. Yep, don't give him something to. So one middle. ball and two strikes. Two outs here in the bottom of the second after CSP turns a beautiful double play. You don't see a ton of those in high school. But that one was perfectly played, and there's a ball foul. Boy, that come the, right off the handle. Yeah, right in off the hands of Capozzi, and that ball's going to fall foul down the first base oh, side. So he stays alive at one ball and two strikes. Nice pitch. Ooh. And that ball is high. I thought that was going to curve down. So I thought I. that's what that was. So ball high. So two balls and two strikes to the number six hitter in the Panthers lineup. And there's a ground ball to third. Tate Catney's is going to come up throwing. And that's going to be out number three. So. After giving seven runs up in the bottom of the first, CSP goes one, two, three in the second. And after two, CSP Lee, uh, trails by a score of seven to five. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack. How was your drive to school? Let me tell you. I had to get my iced coffee first. I just can't seem to put it down. My favorite rapper just announced a tour. My phone was buzzing like crazy. I'm so excited. I had to text all my friends right then to talk about it. Then someone started calling me and... Let's try that again. I turned my phone off right away. I never drive distracted. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. Support for Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Sherman Country General Store at 177 West Main Street in Sherman. Gasoline, groceries, and more. Phone 716-761-6181. Go Wolfpack from Sherman Country General Store. Talking to your kids about the dangers of vaping can be hard. Getting them to listen to hot gossip is easy. So here's some drama you could share with your kid. Dude. 
Did you hear about Cassie and Jake? No, but did you hear that vaping can cause irreversible lung damage and nicotine affects brain development? <gasps> Nuh-uh. You don't need to gossip if you want to have an open conversation about vaping. So if you want to get tips on when and how to talk to your kids, visit talkaboutvaping.org. Welcome back to the top of the third where Dylan Michael, who got us started back in the top, top of the second with leadoff triple, is going to start off the inning. CSP trails 7-5 to five as we start this inning. And there's a swing and a miss for strike two. So Pachinski up early, two no balls and two strikes. Ball in and the dirt. ball's in the dirt for ball one, one and two. We talked about it earlier, Pat. This is a beautiful complex. They've got, uh, as most folks can see on on the Facebook Live, you've got the field, but then you've got batting cages along the left field line. Oh, and oh, Dylan. Ball's strikeout for Dylan. Strikeout for Dylan, and that's out number one. Uh, but it's just overall a very beautiful complex. Absolutely. Like I said earlier, they got the nets all the way down the baselines to keep the ball in so the fans are safe and don't have to chase a lot of them. Nope. So one out here in the top of the third, and that's going to bring Blake Copta to the plate. Blake, Blake reached on a single, infield single, I believe, back in the second inning. And we've talked about it before, maybe when we were playing Salamanca, Pat, but with, on this AstroTurf, it, um, the ball gets on you much faster, mm -hmm. whether, you're, whether you're an infielder or, you know, if, that way, if, like if uh, Trent hit the gap, right, that I ball, mean, took that ball off. just yep. took off. Nice thing about it for the infielders, though, it's a true hop, too. Yep. That ball is low and outside, so one ball and two strikes to Copta. Grant Lictus on deck. And that ball is inside, so counts all even at two balls and two strikes. One out here in the top of the third. Wolfpack leads seven to five, or I'm sorry, trails seven to five, sorry. And that ball's in the dirt on a swing. I'm gonna throw it down to first, and that's out number two. So two strikeouts here in the inning for Pachinski. And that's going to bring Grant Lictus to the plate. And this starts our run of four straight lefties. A little two-out magic here like you'd like to say. Kyle, this would yep. be nice. We don't care how many are out there. We'll, we'll just like to go. And that first pitch is a strike. Oop, and hit that's going to hit him right in the back. So that's going to be Wolfpack's first base runner in the, of the inning. And as we commented at the beginning of the game, this point in time, with, particularly in the playoffs, doesn't matter how you get on. That's uh, right. You just want to get that's on, right. right? Yep. So that's going to bring number nine hitter Caden Beckerink to the plate with two outs. And Grant Lictus at first base. And that ball is outside. And there's a foul for strike two. Pachinski doesn't throw overly hard, Pat, but he does move the ball in it, the, around in yes, the strike zone. He's placing it very he's well. He's your typical lefty, which is very smooth, throws strikes, uh, and moves it around uh, moves it around the strike zone. And there's a ground ball to first base, and first baseman gobbles that up, and that's going to be out number three. So CSP strands one. And after two and a half, it's go on to seven, Wolfpack five. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. 
online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictosol and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. In baseball, these are the moments that bring us to our feet. But the most important moment happens when we all stand together. United for a great cause. So join Major League Baseball and stand up to cancer. As we stand in honor of all loved ones affected by this disease. I'm Jordana Brewster. I'm Candace Patton. Joe Manganiello. I'm Matt Damon. And cancer has in some way touched all of us. Visit standuptocancer.org slash MLB. Stand up with us. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Welcome back to the campus of Gowanda Central School where Gowanda Panthers lead your CSP Wolfpack by a score of seven to five. I'm Kyle Hinsdale joined by Pat Catneys and we're glad to bring you CSP Wolfpack baseball here on channel 98.9 and Facebook Live. And as we enter the bottom half of the third inning, CSP Looks to go one, two, three, just like they did back in the bottom of the second. And Austin White is going to get at least the start of the inning here in the third. And there's a base hit to right field, and that's going to be a leadoff single for Ruff. Logan Ruff, sophomore. And that's going to bring to the plate D.H. Madden Lay, lefty. He's hit by a pitch hit back in the pitch. first inning. Yep. That pitch is high for ball one. CSP turned two back in the bottom of the second in a very similar situation. So looking to do the same thing and particularly with a lefty up, looking for a ground ball to second base. To Looks like Tate might want to be awake on this one. Yep, not a ton of speed at the plate, Pat. So throw brings uh, double play into, into play here. One and one. One ball, one strike, yep. No outs, runner on first here in the bottom of the third. And there he goes and, oh, uh, he's gonna catch. Oh, Tate. And the. Uh, good play by Austin, way to play. Good play by Austin Good White. job. Tate's coming all the way over from third to try to make his, <laughs> fix his mistake. So there. that's a fly out for that's a fly out for Lay, and nice job by Tate Catneys to catch that, and he makes a little bit of an errant throw over to first because the runner on first, Pat, was stealing. Yes. Uh, so he was almost already to second base. Uh, long story short, CSP doubles him up, so I asked for a double play. Can you get it? Got it, but in a little bit of a different uh, type of situation. And that ball's foul. Hit the lights. Down left field line. So a lot of action going on there. Good job by uh, Bryce to recognize that he had somebody at first and good job by Austin, Austin to yeah. cover first. And like I said, uh, Tate was right behind him. He <laughs> and I'm not sure the guy that ran to second, Pat, knew that that ball was caught, to be honest with you. Yeah, because he wasn't he was, even starting to head back real quick. No, so I don't know if he didn't know it was caught. He, you know, he probably had his head down stealing. 
and never even saw that it was uh, caught in the air by Tate on kind of a line drive play. So one ball, one strike, two outs now here. Good stop Good by stop Grant. by Grant. So two straight innings where CSP's got allowed the leadoff runner on, but they've managed to turn a double play. And this at the bat is uh, Braden Smith, the number nine hitter for the Panthers. And that ball's outside, so three balls and one strike. Ideally, we do not face uh, Herman in this inning. Hot batter for Gowanda. And that ball's inside, so. Okay. Smith reaches on a base, or uh, on a walk, and with two outs here in the bottom of the third, one man on, that's gonna bring the top of their order. Number 27, Blake Herman catcher for Gowanda today, just a sophomore. And that ball's high and inside for ball one. We'll see if Gowanda wants to try to get a runner in scoring position by a steal here. There's a big swing and a miss for strike one. He swings very similar to Gabe and Trent, Pat. Leaves, very hard. Leaves very, nothing on yeah, the Yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> no, it's a complete rotation. Kind of like you with your driver on the golf course. <laughs> yeah. yeah, something like that. One ball, one strike to Herman. There goes and the runner. There goes the runner. That's a high pitch. That's a good ball to throw on. Oh, boy, I thought he had him. I do, too. Thought he got him on the backside, but umpire calls him safe. Good throw by Grant there. Just missed him. And so that gets a runner in scoring position for Gowanda. Two balls and one strike to the batter. Two outs here in the bottom of the third. And that ball is low and outside. Good job blocking the plate by Grant. And now three balls and one strike to Herman. Pachinski on deck. He's had two for, base hits, so let's yep. get this out. Ball's in the dirt for ball four. So, Gawanda with a little two out lightning here in the top of the bottom of the third. And that's going to bring starting pitcher for Gawanda, Pachinski, Alex Pachinski, to the plate. He's two for two on the day. And he comes to the plate with two outs and runners at first and second. Well, any bag for the infield here now. So, that makes it a little easier. Yep. And right there's a the ground Trent. ball to second. Trent's going to come up throwing, and Got that's going to be out number three. So CSP gives up a couple walks in that inning, and Gowanda strands two. And after three, it is seven to five. Gowanda will be right back after these messages. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. 
This Wolfpack broadcast is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Restaurant and Bakery at 104 East Main Street in Sherman. The Cornerstone offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and baked goods. The phone number is 716-234-4002, or find them on Facebook. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks the Cornerstone in Sherman for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propene Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided in part by White Lion Surveying in Climber. Providing land surveys for clients in Chautauqua and Cattaraugus Counties in New York and Erie, Warren, and Crawford Counties in Pennsylvania. Call 716-499-8410 or visit online at mwhitepls.com. Welcome back to CSP Wolfpack Baseball on Channel 98.9 and Facebook Live. I'm Kyle Hinsdale, joined by Pat Catneys, and we're excited to bring to you playoff baseball as CSP and the Gowanda Panthers battle in a one versus four seeding in the section six class C semifinal. And after three innings, it is seven to five. Gowanda, Gowanda scoring seven in the bottom of the first and CSP scoring five in the top of the second. After those innings, after those half innings, both teams have kind of settled down a little bit. Yeah. CSP has managed to turn a double play in each of the last two innings. And Austin White, CSP's leadoff hitter, is going to lead off this inning. And he's going to look at ball one in the dirt. Pachinski for Gowanda, starting pitchers, now gone three three innings trying to make it four and that's going to be a strike to Austin one and one and that ball almost hit Austin uh, two balls and two strikes And that ball is on the inside part of the plate, too. So Austin's had to shake it off twice here. Three balls and one strike. And Herman's going to take a quick time out here and have a brief discussion with his battering partner, Pachinski. And if you're CSP, Pat, really what you're looking to do is simply get base runners on, put ball in play, make them play defense, yep. and see if we can get some runs across the, across the plate. So, yeah, don't try to get it all back in one swing. Let's just get guys on. And, and that one hit him. So that was three straight pitches on the inside part of the plate. And... <laughs> I think Austin, I, Austin had a little bit of a stare. Yeah, I down. think if I was our coach, I'd go out and have a conversation with that official because that was three times inside. Yeah. And then they had a meeting and he got hit by a pitch. Yeah. Questionable to me, but. And that's going to be it for Pachinski. And so as Gowanda makes a pitching change, we'll take a break with them. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Stream broadcast comes from Lectus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. 
Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictosol and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. Support for Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Sherman Country General Store at 177 West Main Street in Sherman. Gasoline, groceries, and more. Phone 716-761-6181. Go Wolfpack from Sherman Country General Store. I don't see a... So welcome back to Gowanda, New York, where CSP trails by a score of 7-5. to five, And after one batter in the top of the fourth, Gowanda is going to make a pitching change. Uh, Austin White, leadoff hitter for the Wolfpack in this inning, was hit by a pitch. So he stands at first base. And that's going to uh, uh, Gowanda is going to go to their bullpen and bring in number 21, Carter Capozzi, just a freshman. This will be his 10th game that he's appeared in. He's got three wins on the year. Big, lanky kid, Pat. Yes. I wondered what happened there at the break there. Um, they were warming up the pitcher, and there was five CSP kids over with Coach Marino at third base. I don't know if they just wanted to chat or <laughs> who knows with that group, right? So Austin White at first, and that's going to bring Git down. And they're going to run into each other, and that's going to be an infield hit for CSP, but we've got an injured go on to Panther. There was a collision there between the, the uh, catcher and the third baseman, Pat. And I, I think they, at one point in time, collided heads. Yeah. And it looks like they need to get uh, some Kleenex or something to Not the uh, best bunt in the world if you're uh, if you're uh, Bryce as that ball was popped up, but it did. Uh, it did the job. Did the job, and uh, so and I think Pat that that is um, trying to get a name there. Um, the baseman. Is that Smith? Smith? Yeah. So we believe that that is number 15, Tyler Smith, the senior third baseman who had a collision with his catcher. And looks like maybe he's got a, you know, a bit of a bloody nose. A lot of attention being paid to the third baseman. The pet, uh, if you can see on the camera, the catcher is also uh, leaning down. And both players were going aggressive to try to get that ball. And uh, fortunately for CSP, it uh, landed and then they, the two players collided. So we're going to take a real quick break uh, as we tend to uh, the injured players. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off and on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for Wolfpack Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream is provided by Countertop Solutions and Climber. Go Wolfpack from Countertop Solutions. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided in part by White Land Surveying and Climber. Providing land surveys for clients in Chautauqua and Cattaraugus Counties in New York and Erie, Warren, and Crawford Counties in Pennsylvania. Call 716 499 
8410 or visit online at mwhitepls.com. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propene Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at climberhardwareandhomecenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. Welcome back to Gowanda, where we've had a collision between the catcher and third baseman. Uh, we gave the incorrect name before. Uh, the, the third baseman that was injured is Logan Huff, and he appears as though he's going to stay in the game with Kleenex. Is it Luff, uh, Ruff uh, or Huff? Ruff. Uh, Ruff. Um, Herman's going to stay in the game, it appears as well. Um, I think one would have to question uh, concussion protocol here, Pat. I am uh, really surprised that they're allowing him to uh, stay in the game. To be honest with you, I hope he's, I hope he's okay. I do too. And that's the job of the umpires to to take that step. Yep, that's right. That's not up to the coaches. It's not up to the fans. It's up to the umpires. So it looks like both players for Gowanda are going to stay in the game. Ruff at third base and Herman at behind the plate. I'm telling you, I'm not sure Herman's right, Pat. Yeah, he he is kneeling down again. He's going, though. Obviously a tough kid. So we're going to have some warm-ups here. They're going to let Ruff make some throws from third. And they're going to allow Capozzi to warm up with his catcher here for a little bit. So CSP, just to reset, CSP here in the top of the fourth trails by a score of seven to five. Uh, Austin White led off the inning with a hit by pitch. And so uh, that's when Gowanda made the pitching change to uh, from Pachinski to Capozzi. And then Bryce Hinsdale reached on a infield bunt and uh, what causes the collision between the catcher and the third baseman. And so now uh, no outs here in the top of the fourth and CSP's got runners at first and second and that's gonna bring Gabe Roth to the plate who singled RB, two RBI yes. single back in the second inning, I believe, Pat, right? Yep, that's correct. And so after a little bit of a delay, we're going to get back to the action. And that ball was a foul and now has hit Herman. So in about two plays there, you saw He's the... He's having a rough time right you now. Saw the the trials and tribulations of a catcher, yeah. for sure. Yeah, you got to put a very tough kid back there. There's no doubt about that. I don't know what happened there. Gabe went well, to Gabe, bunt. Yeah, Gabe went to bunt and it fouled Pat. And I think it in and when he squared to bunt, um, Herman kind of got up to feel that sort of feel it, and it, I think it glanced off of uh, the uh, bat and hit either his arm or maybe in his midsection. But this around the heels of um, the collision with the third baseman. This has brought a relatively speedy game to a snail's crawl here. And I wonder as if he got the wind knocked out of him or it's something. It's possible. We mentioned earlier Portville visiting Frewsburg down in Frewsburg tonight. 
That game started at 5 o'clock. We're going to see if we can get an update for you on a score there in Frewsburg. The winner of this game will play the winner of that game on Saturday at noon at Dietrich Park. So Herman's back up and looks to be okay. So, no balls and one strike to Gabe Roth. Runners at first and second with no outs. Trent Burchanowski, hot hitting Trent Burchanowski on deck. And there's a bunt down the first base line and okay. that's gonna advance the runners. So, a little bit odd, Pat of situation that your three hitters bunning, but uh, it did advance the runner. So now second and third with uh, the guy you want up to the plate and Trent Burchanowski, who is pretty hot right now. That's a nice thing about Gabe though. He'll do anything the coaches he ask him to do, you know? Yep. Go yeah. on to moves the infield, particularly the right side, the left side of the field, infield in. Base hit here should score, should uh, tie the game, Pat. Yeah, absolutely. And that's probably, that could be why Coach Moreno did it, to get two runners in scoring position. Nobody's holding Bryce on at second. Austin has got a good lead at third. And that pitch is in the same spot. This time it's called a strike. So one ball and one strike to Burchanowski. One out here in the top of the fourth, seven to five, Gowanda. Trent Burchanowski at the plate with a 1-1 count. And that ball's outside for ball two, two and one. Yeah, Bryce, to... Bryce is almost a third. Because <laughs> that short yeah. stops up on the grass and yep. nobody's yeah, there to both, watch them. Now, now they've got both sides of the infield everybody's in. Up now, so yeah. everybody's in. And there's a ground ball foul down the third base line. So Capozzi up early. Or that squares the count, I'm squares sorry. It up, two, two, and two balls and two strikes. So anything out of the infield here should score two if you're the Wolf Pack. Anything close here for Trent now? Yeah, that's curveball outside. So full count to the senior from Climber, there's a base open. At first, first base is open here. So it's gotta be anything close if you're Trent. See if he can find a hole out there. And a foul tip and he's caught for out number two. So good job by Herman making the catch on the foul tip. And that's gonna bring Tate Catneys to the plate with two outs here in the top of the fourth. Tate's hit it back to the pitcher both times at bat. Yeah, let's see if Tate can find a gap here. He loves that right center gap. And it's there for and him. And it is definitely there if he can find it, so. Man, that ball's outside. He's just not gonna get that call today. Neither pitcher is gonna get that call. So no balls, or one ball and no strikes to Tate Catney's. Two outs, runners on first, second and third. There's a big swing and a miss for strike one. So one and one. Dylan Michael on deck. Slow and curve. A slow curve foul, so. Anytime that pitcher starts to set up outside, Pat, it's the slow curve mm -hmm. on the outside part of the plate. He's the, the catcher doesn't move on the slow on the fastball on the outside part, but he will move to the outside on that slow curve because he almost has to because he knows that if that curve is in the dirt, he's got to be able to block it. Right. right. And there's a hit to left field and 
Oh. That's going to be caught by the left fielder. So CSP threatens here in the top of the fourth. They strand two. And after three and a half, it is seven to five. Gowanda will be right back after these messages. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. How was your drive to school? Let me tell you. I had to get my iced coffee first. I just can't seem to put it down. My favorite rapper just announced a tour. My phone was buzzing like crazy. I'm so excited. I had to text all my friends right then to talk about it. Then someone started calling me and... Let's try that again. I turned my phone off right away. I never drive distracted. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. Support for Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Sherman Country General Store at 177 West Main Street in Sherman. Gasoline, groceries, and more. Phone 716-761-6181. Go Wolfpack from Sherman Country General Store. Talking to your kids about the dangers of vaping can be hard. Getting them to listen to hot gossip is easy. So here's some drama you could share with your kid. Dude. Did you hear about Cassie and Jake? No, but did you hear that vaping can cause irreversible lung damage and nicotine affects brain development? <gasps> Nuh-uh. You don't need to gossip if you want to have an open conversation about vaping. So if you want to get tips on when and how to talk to your kids, visit talkaboutvaping.org. Brought to you by the American Lung Association and the Ad Council. Welcome back to Gowanda, New York, to what is turning into a great high school baseball game between the Wolfpack of CSP and the Panthers of Gowanda. And after three and a half innings, it's a, uh, CSP trails by a score of seven to five. And we are going to see batters three, four, and five for the Panthers of Gowanda, uh, which means that leading off this inning is gonna be on, on us for Gowanda. Oh, Austin White gets his third inning of the game. That's a well-hit ball down third base line that gets past Tate Catney's, and that's going to be a base hit single to start off this inning. I thought he had that ball, Kyle. So did I. But it was going to make it was going to be a heck of a throw if right. he was if he got it. And so that's going to bring Tyler Smith to the plate, and for the third straight inning the. Gowanda gets the leadoff man on. Let's see if we can get another double play here. And that ball's on the inside part of the plate for ball one, one and oh. I think Kyle, if you ask for it, we'll get it because it worked last time. <laughs> Not a big lead by Ondas at first. And there it could be Pat. Uh, he's back safe. So line drive to Trent Burchanowski, and he caught it, and they tried to pick off the guy at first, but he was back safely. So what, hard hit ball by Smith, but right to Burchanowski, and that's out number one of the inning, and that's going to bring center fielder Cole Herman to the plate. He hit, a, he hit it hard at Trent last time at bat. He, he was part of that double play. A lot of balls hit to that second base, and there's a curveball that uh, Herman squared to bunt. And boy, I thought that was a strike, Pat, but he called it a ball. Yeah. And uh, Herman pulled back. So, and that was a stolen base by Andas. So, Gowanda immediately has a runner in scoring position here in the bottom of the fourth. And there's a strike on the inside part of the plate. So one and one for Austin White. Got one out here, runner on second. And her.
Herman calls time and the umpire grants it to him. I think Austin was just kind of seeing what that kid at second was going to do. There's the 1-1. One, one. That curve in the dirt and that gets away from Grant. So Andes is going to make his way to third. So with no outs, or I'm sorry, one, one out yeah. here in the fourth inning. Gawanda's got a runner at third base and a count of two balls and one strike to the batter. Important, Pat, to keep that guy, that there. runner at third base. Yes. Tough ask if you're the Wolfpack, but. There's a nice curveball in for a strike, so swing well, and a miss. So two, two balls and two strikes. Pop up here or strike out here, we'll keep him there, and then we'll have two outs. And yep. I would say, Pat, that the infield is at mid-range. I would not, say you're not right. Not back, but. And that ball is going to hit him on the inside part of the arm, and so that's going to be hit by pitch for Herman, and that's going to put runners at first and third now as current pitcher for Gowanda Carter Capozzi comes to the plate. He's flown out, flown out to Trent and grounded out to Tate. So I'm assuming that kid at first is going to be moving immediately. Yep, I, would, I would think so. And there he goes, and there's going to be no throw. So stand up, stolen base for Herman. And now Gowanda's got runners at second and third. So if you're on the infield, you want to make sure you knock that ball down at the very least. Good block by Grant there. That ball's in the dirt. So two balls and no strikes. And there's a the ball right at the knees. Capozzi did not like. So that was called a strike. So two balls and one strike. CSP looking for some sort of pop fly in the infield. That would be ideal. And that ball's in the dirt. So three balls and one strike. CSP not holding on either one of the runners. So base hit to the outfield, more than likely scoring two. As the uh, runner at second base, Herman, got fairly sad. Austin and Grant want to make sure they're on the same page here, which there's a time to do it. Right now is the time to make sure that everybody's aligned. What do we have, one out so far? One out here in the inning, yep, ground or uh, line drive back to Trent. So three balls and one strike to the batter. Runners at second and third, so first base is open here. We don't want to fill but it we up. We don't though. want to necessarily fill it up. <laughs> Here's the 3-1 pitch. And that's a pop-up to, that's going to be trouble. That's got to get out of play. And Nice try by Trent. Great try. Yeah. But uh, at the end of the day, that's probably a break for CSP because uh, Andes would have been tagging at third. Right. And, right. and uh, that's Trent, a tough play. Trent would have had to, he was sliding to try to catch it. 
would have been a tough play to try, try to turn and also throw it at home. Right, right. right. So would have liked the out, but that more than likely would have cost us a run there. So No, a strikeout here will be nice. Uh, yeah. So full count to the batter, three balls and two strikes. One out. And that ball's outside for ball four. So base on ball to Capozzi, he's going to load the bases here in the bottom of the fourth with one out. And that's going to bring Logan Ruff to the plate. He had a base hit his last time at bat. Did he? So a little surprised, um, I don't know. I, I'm not well enough versed in coaching baseball, Pat, to wonder if we should have the infield in, in here. I know why you have it back, because you have one out. And that's a ball, that's a strike on the inside part of the plate. But uh, CSP, I think, looking, playing back to get the double play, right? Yeah, um, yeah I agree with. But yeah. I, I might, I, I, I may pull the infield in here, because I don't think another run's going to, and that's going to be foul. So a little with Bob Newton in the building, a little <laughs> Bob Newton action with a suicide squeeze, but it's unsuccessful. Two strikes and now. that's going to put uh, no balls and two strikes on Ruff here. Now I think I'd move him up. You move him I'd bring the infield in infield now. Infield in now? Yeah, because he's got to be swinging at anything now. Yeah, slow roller to short based on their depth. Slow roller to short or second is going to score one. Yeah. The uh, Tate and Bryce on the corners are in. And that ball's outside, so one ball, two strikes. Nice, nice job by Grant Lictus behind the plate. Getting that one, that ball was outside quite a bit. And if you're Grant, you want to knock everything down here, keep everything in front of you. Yep, absolutely. One to five, bases loaded with one out. And that ball is going to be foul down the first baseline. Field. That's going to be infield fly rule. fly rule. And that's going to be out number two. So big, big out if you're a CSP fan. And that's going to bring number 31, Madden Lay, the number eight hitter playing DH today to the plate. He was hit by a pitch. Maybe last inning, Pat? He was hit by a pitch, and then he got – he – did he uh, – oh, he hit that line drive to Tate. Oh, yeah. So, bases loaded with two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. Seven to five, Gawanda. And he's first pitch swinging foul. So, if you're, again, Grant Lictus behind the plate, you've got to be an absolute vacuum right now. Yeah, everything, everything's got to be Everything's got to be in front of you. It doesn't need to be pretty. You just got to keep it in front of you. And if you're a CSP infielder, Easiest base at this point. And there's a base hit to center field getting just by Gabe Ross glove. And that ball, that's going to score two. So big hit for Madden Lay. And that's going to make the score nine to five Wolfpack. They almost got out of this, Pat, unscathed. But big base hit there. And that ball just cleared the tip of Gabe Ross glove at shortstop. I thought he had it. So did I. I thought he had that ball. Made a heck of an attempt at it. So CSP threatens in the top of the fourth and is unable to get two runners across. Gawanda threatens here in the bottom of the fourth and are able to get their runners. And 
We've got runners at first and third with two outs still. And that's going to bring Smith, Braden Smith to the plate. Yeah, I, I thought Gabe made a great play on that ball, but he didn't. He got by him somehow. Ball high to start with Smith. So nine to five, Gowanda in the bottom of the fourth. CSP trying to limit the damage here with two outs. Runners at first and third. There's a big swing and a miss for Smith. Strike one. I'm surprised that uh, the guy is still at first base. They put a pinch runner in for lay there, I see. Yep. I'm just shocked that you know what's going on here, Austin. Let him go. Let yep. him go. Tate seems to think he got him there, but the official thinks differently. So got himself the first uh, base runner, got himself into a little bit of a pickle and uh, tried getting him and then as uh, as that was going on they tried throwing out the guy at third and he was back safe so we've got one ball and one strike on the batter I believe that's correct so no harm, no foul if you're the Wolfpack. Focus on the batter right now. See if you can get an out here. And there's a big swing and a miss for strike two. Based on those two swings, Pat, I am not doing anything other than a fastball. Correct. Because he is. Go right after him. He's he is, behind him. He is way behind it. And uh, just not, there's no reason to get uh, cute here. Uh, there's a pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike three. So Gowanda strands two, but they get two across to make it nine to five. And after four, CSP trails. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. In baseball, these are the moments that bring us to our feet. But the most important moment happens when we all stand together. United for a great cause. So join Major League Baseball and stand up to cancer. As we stand in honor of all loved ones affected by this disease. I'm Jordana Brewster. I'm Candace Patton. Joe Manganiello. I'm Matt Damon. And cancer has in some way touched all of us. Visit standuptocancer.org slash MLB. Stand up with us. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Dream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Welcome back to Gowanda, New York where you're watching and listening to CSP Wolfpack Baseball on channel 98.9. And we want to thank our sponsors 
uh, you've heard them all year long during the half inning, and uh, they uh, each one of them uh, supported us during the regular season and also supported us during the playoffs, and we're very appreciative of that and able to bring you the base hit by games. Dylan. And there's a first pitch base hit swinging Dylan Michael. So CSP gets their first the first batter and first base runner of the inning, and so nice leadoff single, and that's going to bring Blake Cope to, to the plate. And if you're CSP, Pat, I like that strategy of if you see something, even if it's the first pitch, be up there swinging away. Yep, yep, let's go. Let's hit the ball and make them feel that. That was a great hit right there by Dylan. Oh. It, uh, there's a ground ball to third, and that's going to get by the second baseman. And Dylan's going go to gonna make it to third. So third baseman tried to get the lead runner at second. He overthrew the second baseman. So CSP now with runners at first and third. That could have been double play action there, Pat, but they weren't able to make that first most important connection. Well, like I said earlier in the game, Blake runs well, so I don't know if they would have been able to double that up or not because that was a long throw from third to second and then he had to make the turn to get, you know. Yep. So with no outs here in the top of the fifth, CSP trailing nine to five. They got runners at first and third and one of our hottest hitters over the last three or four games, Grant Lictus, comes to the plate and he looks at strike one on the outside part. Would imagine, Pat, that uh, Blake is not going to be at first for too long. No, I, I was think, thinking right? I'd, test, I'd test Herman. He's been dinged around a lot today. So. And Grant squares to bunt and was unable to get it down. And so no balls and two strikes to the junior from Climber. And if you're Grant here, you got to protect and here I would not have Blake running here. Pat. No, you're right. Last thing we need is a strikeout throw out. And there's a big swing and a miss for Grant. So out number one of the inning and that's gonna bring Caden Beckering to the plate. Who's put bat on the ball most of the day. And this is now, particularly with a left-handed batter up, Pat, I am absolutely stealing Blake on this first yes. pitch. Yep. I want to get myself out of a potential double play. Man, that ball's in the dirt. Good stop by Herman. I don't think Herman has had a pass ball today. No, nope, he hasn't. Very good he catcher. Yes, he does a really good job back there. <clears throat> so Capozzi down one ball and no strikes to Caden Beckerink. And now it's two balls and no strikes. And I really wish Blake would get to second somehow, get that double play out of uh, out of the picture. Out of the picture. There's a and shot. And there's a oh. foul ball, just oh. foul down the first base line. Boy, that was close, Pat. That was real close. That was we were blocked from it, but it was looked awfully close. So two balls and one strike. Now I'm running, Blake. <laughs> I said that three <laughs> pitches ago, my friend. And that ball's in the dirt. So three balls and one strike to Caden Beckerink. Austin White on deck, leadoff hitter for the Wolfpack. One out here in the top of the fifth. CSP down to their last eight outs. And that is a fly ball. That's going to that be a tough could play. Be trouble. And that's going to be caught by the shortstop. Good play by the shortstop there. Make that catch. And that's going to be out number two of the inning. So. Okay, Austin. So Austin White's coming to the plate. See if Austin can help him help himself here. So two outs. Oh, 
Austin White looking to try to find a hole to get one, at least one across the plate. And there's a strike to start this at bat. Yeah, they're they're keeping Blake tied up over there. And I, I, yeah, I I'm not, I, I don't know if I'm sending him now, Pat. No? I don't know. And there's That's a base true. hit down the third base line. It got by the third baseman. So Austin White with an RBI single. RBI single for Austin White, and that's going to make the score 9-6. to six. And now CSP with two outs here in the top of the fifth have runners at first and second. So runner in scoring position, and Bryce Hinsdale comes to the plate. And he looks at strike one right down the middle. So Bryce needs to be a hitter. He's going to throw him strikes. And there's strike two. Bryce out in front of it. So he's quickly down, no balls and two strikes. Going to see a curveball here, I think. Yep. Or a changeup. Oh. That ball is outside. One ball, two strikes, two outs here in the top of the fifth, nine to six. Gawanda, runners at first and second for your Wolfpack. There's a swing and a miss, strike three. So CSP strands two, and but they get one across the plate, and after four and a half, it is nine to six. Gawanda, we'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. This Wolfpack broadcast is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Restaurant and Bakery at 104 East Main Street in Sherman. The Cornerstone offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and baked goods. The phone number is 716-234-4002, or find them on Facebook. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks the Cornerstone in Sherman for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided in part by White Lion Surveying in Climber. Providing land surveys for clients in Chautauqua and Cattaraugus Counties in New York and Erie, Warren, and Crawford Counties in Pennsylvania. Call 716-499-8410 or visit online at mwhitepls.com. Welcome back to Gawanda, New York, where we have a score of 9-6 to six CSP trails after four and a half innings. And Austin White's going to come to the plate or come to the mound for what will be his fifth inning of the game. He came back, he came in in relief of Tate uh, Catney's back in the first inning. And that's going to bring the top of the order to the plate for the Panthers. Yeah, that was a good pitch by Austin White that was called a ball. So one ball and no strikes to the leadoff hitter, Herman. Important inning here, Pat, for CSP to get out of here with no giving up no runs. That gives them a chance in the sixth and seventh to get some runs across the board. Yeah, clean inning here, and then we get in. We're at the top of our order. I mean, we're at Gabe and Trent and Tate and Dylan. I mean, Dylan's been the hitter today. <laughs> yes. So. Yes, he has. 
And that ball's outside, ball two. So two balls and one strike to the batter. Gowanda has gone three straight innings with getting their leadoff man on. So I'd like to stop that little trend. Yep. Oh. Man, there's a ball in the dirt. Good stop by Grant to keep that in front of him. So three balls and one strike. And, you know, I would imagine, Pat, that uh, Austin's got a pretty short leash here in this inning. I would think so, yes. You've got all your other pitchers really available to you. Um, Gabe, Trent. Yep. Yeah, that ball's in the dirt for ball four. Yeah, we can, he probably shouldn't wait very long. Nope. So, Gowanda gets their leadoff runner on, and that's going to bring today's starting pitcher for Gowanda, Alex Pachinski, to the plate, lefty. And they call time for Herman down at first base. And if you're in football, you're probably in concussion protocol at this point. But so Herman's going to be at first, and that's going to bring Pachinski to the plate. Let's see if he's going to be off and running. And first pitch swinging, Pachinski is foul. So no balls and one strike. I'm going to ask for a double play here. How about that? Kyle? Hey, there we go. I haven't asked for one, so I'm going to ask for See, one right you, here. You try. You yep. try. Didn't work work for me in two straight innings. Didn't work for me in the uh, last one, so we'll. Time for me to ask. Time for you. That ball's outside. That evens a count at one. As we mentioned, important for the Wolfpack to get out of this inning, giving up no runs to keep that deficit at three as they have six outs remaining. There's a squared to bunt. Oh. And that ball. Gabe caught that. Well, that looked pretty good, Pat. So he called that a ball. So two balls and one strike. So not only do I think he went, Pat, but I also think the pitch was a strike. Um, yeah, but they called it. They called it a ball. So it's a tough spot. They're asking the base umpire if he went. That's tough. Tough spot. My guess is uh, he's not going to call anything different, but that is his call, and it's a ball. So all three agree that it's a ball. So uh, two balls and one strike to Pachinski, and now Herman's at second base. And there's a foul ball down the third base line. So that evens the count at two, two balls and two strikes. No outs here in the bottom of the fifth, nine to six, Gowanda. Runner at second, so we gotta make sure that he stays there, or at the very least doesn't cross home plate. <laughs> and Pitches inside for, I didn't have that as full count, Pat. Neither did I, but that one that was supposed to be a strike, yeah. So they're trying, they're trying to get on base with, sinning is kind of taking on a Different bit of an twist. odd feel. So 
So now it's a full count. Runner at second. And Austin steps off. He's trying to get on the same page with Grant. Yeah, that ball is outside for ball four, so. Two walks here in the inning. So runners at first and second, no outs. And that's going to bring Andus to the plate. And there's a fly ball to center. And that's going to be fall at the base of the, of the fence. And that's going to score Herman from first. Grant tags him at home. And he's out. And the runner wiped out the home plate umpire. And he's out at home. So they did score one. Good throw by Blake Cope to, to the cutoff man. And then I think that was Gabe Roth that threw it home, Pat. Yep. And they were able to get the guy at home. So that's going to be, is that out number one of the inning? It is, yes. So that's out number one of the inning. Um, Andus finds himself all the way over to third base on that hit. That ball was well hit to dead center and fell in at the uh, base of the uh, base of the hill. And so Coach Moreno is going to pay a visit to the mound, and we're going to have a pitching change for the Wolfpack. So uh, we'll take a break with them. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Dream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. Support for Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Sherman Country General Store at 177 West Main Street in Sherman. Gasoline, groceries, and more. Phone 716-761-6181. Go Wolfpack from Sherman Country General Store. Welcome back to Gowanda, New York, where CSP trails by a score of 10-6 to 6 in the bottom of the fifth inning as CSP makes a pitching change. Uh, Austin White pitched a strong what uh, four innings four mm -hmm. and four and a third and maybe four and two thirds because uh, he came in relief back in the first and that's gonna uh, coach Moreno is gonna go to his senior ace here Gabe Roth and Gabe's gonna inherit a runner at third with one out and Oh, that ball is going to get by Grant, and that's going to get a run across the plate. So 
on to scores to make it 11 to 6. Gawanda and Tyler Smith at the plate. That was the ball one to Smith. So one out here. One ball, no strikes. If you're CSP, you want to get three outs and get your bat back in your hands. That ball's foul. One and one. Curveball in. Curveball nope. just on the inside part of the plate for ball two, two and one. That looked like it had pretty good movement on it, so move it over a little bit. That'll be a tough pitch yeah. to hit. Inside fastball fouled off by Smith. So two balls and two strikes to the senior. Could use a strike out here, Pat. Absolutely. Or a ground out or anything. There's a high fastball that got over Grant even. And that's going to be a full count. Three balls and two strikes to Smith. Gabe might have been over juicing that one, Pat. Yeah. Oh, and that one too. That ball is in the dirt. So throwing a little bit, trying to throw it through Grant's glove at this point. Just need to take deep breath and settle in here. So runner at first now, and that's going to bring Cole Herman to the plate with only one out. Gabe's got a good pickoff move over at first. Boy, that was close. That was very close. <laughs> that was real close. I bet he doesn't take that extra step <laughs> this time. Ball inside on Herman for ball one. Number five hitter for Gowanda. And there's a strike on the inside part of the plate for strike one, so one ball and one strike. Can I ask for another double play ball here? Boy, that was close too. The natives are getting restless over here, yep, Kyle. Yeah. Ball high for two and one. Ball in the dirt. Good stop by Grant there. Three balls and one strike. So if you're Gabe, you just got to throw, throw strikes here. Not looking to. Overpower guys here. We're looking to make these guys hit her. And there's ball four. So runners on f at first and second. And that's going to bring Capozzi to the plate. He's flown out, flown out. He had a ground out, and then he got a base on ball. So, And there's ball foul down the first baseline. And if you're Bryce or Trent at second or Caden Beckrink in right, you know, this ball more than likely, Pat, I don't see him turning on uh, turning on this down the left field line. There, and it, there is. it is right to Caden right Beckrink. Oh. And that ball is going to drop. Good decision by Caden Beckrink to keep that ball in front of him. He wasn't going to make that catch. And rather than try to dive for it and – give up additional runs he kept it in front of him so that's going to bring bases loaded now with still one out and third baseman ruff comes to the plate okay logan ruff Get 
11 to 6, Gowanda. Good block there by Grant. So one ball, no strikes. Bases loaded, no place to put them here. CSP in, uh, gotta go home with it, Gabe. So that's uh, gonna score as a ground out to first, but it does score a run to make it 12 to six. And that's gonna bring Madden Lay to the plate, the DH, batting in the number eight spot. He had a big hit last time. Yes, he did. With uh, He's got runners again in scoring positions at second and third. Ball low for ball one. And ball outside for ball two. So two balls and no strikes to Lay. Smith, the number nine hitter, Braden Smith on deck. And if you're Grant, you gotta block everything here. The big swing and a miss for strike one, two balls and one strike. And ball low, so three balls and one strike to the number eight hitter. And if you're Gabe, you just want to make this guy a hitter. Just throw strikes. Yeah, make him make him beat you. Yeah. Don't don't give him a free pass here. And that ball is gonna be foul down third baseline. All right, three and so two. That's gonna bring the count full. This should be a fastball and nothing else, Pat. Right down the belt line. Yep. And he throws the curve, and that's going to be a slow roller. Austin comes up throwing, and they're going to get him at first. So good play by Austin White. Good stretch by Bryce at first. And Gowanda strands two, but not until they get three across. And after five innings, it is Gowanda 12. CSP 6 will be back after these messages to start the 5th, 6th inning. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and often-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Dream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for Wolfpack Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream is provided by Countertop Solutions and Climber. Go Wolfpack from Countertop Solutions. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided in part by White Lion Surveying and Climber. Providing land surveys for clients in Chautauqua and Cattaraugus Counties in New York and Erie, Warren, and Crawford Counties in Pennsylvania. Call 716 499 8410 or visit online at mwhitepls.com. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at climberhardwareandhomecenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. Welcome back where CSP finds themselves down to their final six outs of the season as they trail the Gowanda Panthers by a score of 12 to six. And CSP is gonna bring three, four, and five hitters to the plate in this inning. And they're gonna try to get some hits off of freshman Carter Capozzi, who is coming in relief and done a nice job for the Panthers. 
And at this point, if you're CSP, you're simply looking for base runners and putting the ball in play. Yep, making them work. Making them work because when we have put the ball in play, Pat, they have struggled a little That's bit true. defensively. That's true. So, you know, they've thrown it around a few times, made some errors in throwing. and So we just got to get a bat on the ball. And There's a curveball that was high. I tell you, you don't see many umpires – Take uh, some of the body language. That uh, there's a pop up right between short and the first baseman makes the grab, and that is out number one. And big out for Gowanda there, and that's going to bring Trent Burchanowski to the plate. Curve ball on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Trent's due. Trent's due again. He had one earlier, didn't he? Well, he's yeah. he had the gapper back right. in the. He's due again. Yeah. The ball's low and outside for ball one. That evens the count. Every other time at bat, we'll give him. Yeah. So. Yeah. And there's a well-hit ball to right field. And it's over uh, his head. That's going to be over his head, and that's going to be ground, ground rule, rule double. double. All right. We would have been better off if that had hit the fence, Pat, and uh, that would have been a stand-up triple. But uh, ground rule double for Trent Burchanowski and uh, gives CSP their first base runner of the inning and immediately becomes in scoring position. And that's going to bring... Take Catney's to the plate. Somebody else is due. He is due. So nobody's holding on. Oh, oh get hey, fouled. What are you doing? So there's the curveball. What you almost want to do with this guy. What you want to do with this guy, Pat, is um, – lay off the curveball and just wait for that fastball. Yeah, because that curveball is outside most of the time. Yep, and it's a good curveball. It has got a lot of movement on it. And there's strike two on the outside part of the plate. He's got to work so, here now. No balls and two strikes to Katniss. Runner at second with one out. And Tate stays alive on that curveball. So three straight curveballs Tate has seen here. I think he stays with the curve, or you think he tries to blow him up now? Can I try yeah. to blow one by him? It might. Tate's probably this ball's sitting. coming out. It's this curve outside. Nope. Ball's outside for ball one. One ball and two strikes. And there's on the outside part of the plate for strike three. So CSP now here with two outs in the top of the sixth. And that's going to bring Dylan Michael to the plate. Don't want to strand this lead off or this uh, double by no. Trent here. Dylan's been hot. so He he'll, has been hot. He's been he'll swinging keep us at going that first here. pitch. And uh, there's a strike on the outside part of the that plate. That zone has widened out tremendously. He's way out there yeah. now. So no balls and one strike to the senior from Climber. Curveball swing and a miss for strike two. So Dylan down early. No balls and two strikes. All right, Dylan, get a base hit here. That ball's outside. That was way outside. If he would have called that, I might have taken this headset off and said something. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, that's a base hit. That's a base hit to left field and 
Here comes Trent, and he's going to hold him up. And so good single for Dylan, who's he's hot today. Been hot today is for his right, Pat. And so Coach Moreno held Trent at third. So that's going to result in the first uh, runners at first and third with the two outs, and that's going to bring Blake Copta to the plate. Ball's outside for ball one. Grant Lictus on deck if we can get there. Good opportunity for Blake to knock in a run here. Ball's low, so two balls and no strikes. Dylan Michael at first, Trent Burchanowski at third. Two outs. Two outs. He thought about it. He yep. thought about it. And that ball's low for ball three, so three balls and no strikes for Capozzi. There's a strike on the outside part of the plate. For strike one, three balls and one strike. So on, full Blake. count here, and Dylan should be running. And there's a pop-up that's going to stay in play. And this is between uh, – Ketcher made a difficult play, but he makes, makes the catch. And CSP strands two here in the top of the sixth. And – after five and a half, it's 12 to six, Gowanda. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. How was your drive to school? Let me tell you. I had to get my iced coffee first. I just can't seem to put it down. My favorite rapper just announced a tour. My phone was buzzing like crazy. I'm so excited. I had to text all my friends right then to talk about it. Then someone started calling me and... Let's try that again. I turned my phone off right away. I never drive distracted. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. Support for Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Sherman Country General Store at 177 West Main Street in Sherman. Gasoline, groceries, and more. Phone 716-761-6181. Go Wolfpack from Sherman Country General Store. Talking to your kids about the dangers of vaping can be hard. Getting them to listen to hot gossip is easy. So here's some drama you could share with your kid. Dude, did you hear about Cassie and Jake? No, but did you hear that vaping can cause irreversible lung damage and nicotine affects brain development? Welcome back to Gowanda where CSP trails by a score of seven to, or 12 to six here in the bottom of the six and Gabe Roth after coming in relief back in the fifth, gets uh, the sixth inning. And he's going to face the number nine hitter for unsuccessfully. So it's one ball and one strike. So nine, one, and two hitters here in the inning. And that ball is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes to the batter. Very important for the Wolfpack to 
give up no runs in this inning to give themselves a chance. That ball ball's foul. So Smith stays alive. One ball and two strikes. Important for CSP to give up no runs this inning, Pat. To give, at least give themselves a shot in the bottom top, of the top, top, top of the seven. Yes. Yes. I mean, there's one. Yep. There's a swing and a miss for strike three. So strikeout for. Kay. Blake Herman has been up four times, and he's walked all four times, Kyle. Really? Yes. So, let's get him out, shall yep. we? His on-base percentage is pretty good. So, one out here. There's this. Man, I'm telling you, Pat, if I'm this umpire, this guy is a catcher, and he's making all kinds of body motions yeah. when he's behind the plate and doesn't get a strike, and now he's making the same body motions when he's batting. He gets the calls when he when they, when they not, throw him. Not necessary. So one ball, one strike to Herman. And there's strike two. So what – one ball and two strikes. And that ball ball's ball. Foul, foul down the first base line. So one ball it stays at one ball and two strikes with one out here in the inning. Oh, ball got away from Gabe there. It's all right. It doesn't hurt anything, you know. Two, two balls, balls two and two strikes. strikes. And there's a pop-up to short. Austin. Austin White is underneath it, and that's going to be out number two of the inning. So, okay. That's going to bring Pachinski to the plate. Alex Pachinski, lefty, started the game for Gowanda. And if you're CSP, hope this is the last batter you see for this inning at least. One ball, no strikes. Yeah, get this out and then come up and get the bats rolling because we got to roll through six or seven runs. There's a strike on the inside part of the plate for strike one, one and one. Uh, good pitch nice there. Pitch. That's nice curveball by Gabe for strike two. Well, one, ball, it, one ball and two strikes. At least it hasn't chilled off to the point where we're freezing. Tonight. No, that's right. I was concerned because they, they were talking not very high, but the sun is keeping it a little bit warm here. Yeah, that sun. once that sun goes down, we could there you go, Tate. be in a different story, Pat. Ground ball foul down third base line. Remains one ball and two two strikes. Winner of this game will play Saturday at noon against the winner of Portville Frewsburg. Last update we had from Frewsburg was Portville was leading six to three, but we didn't know what inning, so. Didn't know the inning, so. All we knew was the score, so. Two, two balls, two strikes. Uh, there's a strike on the outside part of the plate for strike three. So CSP goes one, two, three in that inning. But they're now down their last three outs. So we'll go to the bottom of the or top of the seventh. CSP trailing by a score of 12 to 6. We'll be right back. 
Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. In baseball... These are the moments that bring us to our feet. But the most important moment happens when we all stand together. United for a great cause. So join Major League Baseball and stand up to cancer. As we stand in honor of all loved ones affected by this disease. I'm Jordana Brewster. I'm Candace Patton. Joe Manganiello. I'm Matt Damon. And cancer has in some way touched all of us. Visit standuptocancer.org slash MLB. Stand up with us. Funding for this Channel 98.9 SportsStream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 SportsStream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Welcome back as we enter the top of the seventh inning where the Wolfpack trail by a score of 12-6, to 6, so... Need to uh, generate a number of runs here, at least six runs here in the top of the seventh. And we're going to have eight, nine, and one hitters for the Wolfpack. And we got a score update from Frewsburg, uh, Pat. Uh, the game has gone final. Portville with a win, seven to four. Yeah, there's strike number two. So one ball and two strikes uh, on Grant. So he's got to be... Protected hit, protective hitter up yeah. there now. Just look to slap something to left field. And there's a well hit ball. That's going to drop. It. Well, no, nope. center fielder center is going to get underneath that ball, and that's going to be out number one. So, well hit ball by Grant Lictus, but center fielder made his way over. It was kind of uh, between center and right. And uh, I thought it was a, more of a blooper type hit. Yeah, yeah. But it went further than it looked like it was going. So that's going to bring kid like Grant. Yeah, yeah. that's going to bring Caden Beckering to the plate, and he's going to see a high fastball for ball one. There you go, Potter. Yeah, there's ball two. So two balls and no strikes on two high fastballs, and Caden up early. Got a hitter's count here. Yeah, that one was right down the middle. So two balls and one strike. And there's a ball drifting foul. foul. And a good effort by the right fielder, but he was unable to make the grab. So New life long, for Potter. long foul ball. And that's going to even the count at two. Ooh. Ball's inside, so full count to the number nine hitter for the Wolfpack. Austin White on deck. There you go. And there was a base hit the other way by Caden Beckerink. So good piece of hitting by Caden Beckerink. And that's going to bring Austin White to the plate. So we got some speed at first. And that's what we need to do is just keep slap it around. Slap it around and keep. Uh, Stack hit on top of hit on top of hit is what yeah. we're going to need to do here. So, uh, 
And that ball is in for a strike on the inside part of the plate. So no balls and one strike to the leadoff hitter for the Wolfpack. Yeah, that's foul. So Capozzi up, no balls and two strikes on Austin White. Senior from Climber saw in the paper that Austin is salutatorian for Climber. So not only is he a good baseball player, good athlete, but uh, smart in the classroom. And ball foul off the back here. Austin stays alive, no balls and two strikes. That's what you want in your players also. You, uh, yep. Smart players, they, they think their way through these games like this. and oh. Ball in the dirt. There's something about Austin tonight that these pitchers are attracted to him. They're throwing <laughs> really close to him. Yeah. He was hit by a pitch last time at bat. And One ball, two strikes. And there's a well hit ball to right field, but that is right at the right fielder. And so that's going to be out number two of the inning. So CSP down to their last out of the game with Caden Beckerink at first, and that's going to bring Bryce Hinsdale to the plate. These lefties, I hope, took a lesson from Caden, Pat. He did exactly slap what you it. just yeah. slapped that thing to left field. Yeah, that ball's inside for a ball one. Capozzi finding a little bit of a different gear here in the seventh inning as he's trying to close this game out. He's throwing some heat. Yeah, that's a strike on the outside part of the plate. Evens the count at one. And that ball's low for ball two, so two and one. They're not even holding Caden on, no. so he can get a good, pretty, pretty good lead. But and there's a hit and run, and that's going to be right back up the middle, and that's going to be out number three, and that's ball game for the season. So CSP. Unfortunately, not able to get the win today as they fall to the Gowanda Panthers by a score of 12 to 6. So Gowanda advances to the class Section 6 Class C final on Saturday at noon where they will play the Portville I think they're Panthers, also Panthers. Too, Panthers. I think too? they're also Panthers. Yes. So um, and they, those two teams know each other relatively well, Pat. I think they play a couple times during the regular season. So, um, so it should be a good, good matchup. Uh, CSP just, you know, as the, as the year went on, particularly later in the year, we just did not collectively as a team hit the ball very well. Uh, and that really was the difference today. You know, we had runners in scoring position. We just didn't, we didn't, didn't get, string them together. That's right. We happened. didn't get we hits. Weren't. We didn't get hits when we probably needed to, and and Port and uh, Gowanda did, and uh, so as a result, uh, CSP loses in the Section Six Class C semifinal. So a year after um, uh, after uh, last year, where we went to the Class D uh, Final Four, we move up a class to Class C and and uh, get beaten in the, in the semifinals. And to be honest with you, Pat, I saw a little bit of the Class D uh, stuff. And, you know, between you and I, no, let's say there's no listeners between you and I, I think uh, CSP and the fans of CSP probably could be booking uh, rooms in Binghamton right now if we were in uh, Class D. But, yeah. But uh, we're not. And uh, so, um, so CSP ends the season – with a record of 14 and five overall, 12 and two during the regular season in league play, and uh, overall, I would say it was a um, a good season. Just didn't hit the ball when we needed to. Well, I think that the, it, it, 
as games went on, different guys stepped up in each game to get us get us wins. You know, we didn't have to count on one or two guys to carry us through. Pitching wise, it was the same thing. You know, Gabe it was Gabe was struggling. Austin would step up. Trent, when he finally started throwing, did some nice job. Bishop did some, not Bishop. Blake Blake came mm-hmm. in and did some nice pitching for us. You know, Tate and and Bryce they filled in well. Um, I think that. Uh, we, as a team, collectively, they, they these kids love to be with each other. They love to play together, and that shows. Yeah, I mean, that shows. Right. They they came together today and played this game. A few things here and there. I mean, that first inning, we take that first inning away, we win this ball game. Yep. Yeah. But we can't we can't take it back. So. Yeah, CSP down seven nothing after the first, and uh, clawed their way back with five in the top of the first or top of the second, and um, it just takes a lot of energy to to come back into sure. a game like that and. Sure. And you need a lot of things to go your way, and we just uh, those didn't go our way. And but um, you know, and, and credit to uh, the seniors, right? Um, you've got uh, you have Austin White and Gabe Roth who went out today on a high note uh, as far as their pitching performance, mm-hmm. and uh, you had Dylan Michael who came up big uh, with some really big hits in this game. And he's Blake, been, he's been hitting well, yep. really the last half of the year. Uh, Blake Copta. Um, you got Drake D. Domenico, who played an important role in the middle of the season and came in when we needed him and hit, had some, some big hits. And so it was a um, you know, really nice job by all of our seniors. Each one of those guys is going to be missed. Uh, each, one of those ha- each one of those players, even if they didn't have a lot of playing time, played a role yes. in getting to this point. And yes. um, whether it's their role in practice or their role during game days, um, you know, so I think of Tate Newman, for example, who uh, has just been a fantastic teammate uh, to these guys throughout the year and um, and really, you know, paid his dues. And, and, uh, and you know, for a lot of these kids, this will be the last sporting event uh, that right, they play. Right. And, uh, and all, unfortunately, it didn't go the way that they wanted. Um, you know, it was a beautiful night for baseball, beautiful field, and um, – you know, and, and to your point, they're hanging out with their buddies. Yep, and, they enjoyed uh, the was, season. You know, which was you important. got uh, Skylar Burke and Andrew Nelson, also seniors, and those boys came to practice every day. And yep, they that's knew right. they weren't going to probably get a lot of time, but they just like being with the rest of these guys. Yep, so that's right. That's gives them right. a lot of credit just for being moral support. So, the baseball season is going to come to an end. We want to thank all of our sponsors again. Um, particularly uh, Lictus Oil and Propane, who is our main sponsor throughout the year, um, really allowed us to broadcast these games. And um, at multiple times throughout the year, we had international viewers and listeners. And um, it really is a, is a joy. I had asked Pat to join me this year on the radio. And uh, it was supposed to be kind of a... Um, yeah, for you p- listeners out there, he asked me to do a couple of games with him. <laughs> Uh, I, I, asked for, I asked for a couple of games and he did them all. So, <laughs> uh, so really appreciate that. And, um, and, uh, but no, it was a really, really good season. Um, and it's now uh, 741 on the East Coast. And uh, for your son and my son, it's officially football season. It's a, that is correct. And, it is football uh, season right now. So, uh, May 25th. Yep. May 25th at 741. <laughs> it's football season. And uh, so, anyways, uh, for. Uh, Pat Catneys, I'm Kyle Hinsdale. I want to thank all the viewers who watched us throughout the year. Uh, I want to thank our sponsors for making this happen. CSP falls to Gowanda in the Section 6 Class C semifinal by a score of 12 to 6. Um, we'll see you in the fall for football season right here on Channel 98.9. Thank you for listening. Thanks for listening.